Hi, I'm Major General Van McCarty, Adjutant General of the great state of South Carolina, and it's my honor to have the opportunity today to welcome you here uh, for an event that is long overdue, and that is to advocate for and speak on behalf of the veterans of this great state and to help support moving our advocacy of our veterans to a cabinet level position. Not only is it a good thing, but it's the right thing to do. South Carolina is blessed with a great history that goes back to the colony days of when our guardsmen, our militia, formed to represent and help defend this great state. And through the years, our young men and women have answered the call each and every time that this nation has asked them to do so. Our veterans have paid the price. Our veterans have earned the right to be advocated for at the highest of levels. And by raising this to a cabinet level position, we as citizens of the great state of South Carolina can get behind those efforts, those people who work each and every day tirelessly to help our veterans. In the audience today, we have individuals that represent advocacy groups for our veterans. And I'd like to thank them for being here and for the work that they do tirelessly each and every day to help those who have served and who continue to serve and do so in a very selfish manner. So it is with great honor that I say that as a veteran myself and a current serving member and from a family of those who have served, that it is the right thing for us to do to elevate the Division of Veterans Affairs to a cabinet level position. And it's my pleasure now to introduce the governor of the great state of South Carolina, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you, General. I wish everybody here could have, could have been out at, the, at McIntyre Saturday when we had change of command from a, a great Adjutant General, Bob Livingston, to a great new Adjutant General, Van McCarty. It was quite something to see. And the men and women of the National Guard and the Air Guard were there in formation. There was a huge audience. I guess there were 2,000 people out there, and it was predicted to be a rainy day, so we didn't have the flyover as usual for such things. But it was a remarkable thing. And as the general has said, our history in South Carolina is all about the military. We've been fighting from the very beginning and defending and growing, and it could not have been done without our military and without the strong sense of duty, honor, country, and discipline that the military brings with it. We have about 440,000 veterans in South Carolina right now, and if you count their immediate families, it goes up to about a quarter of our people in South Carolina are related to the military directly like that. And that is a good thing. It's one of the things that makes us strong. The people that I speak to from around the world who come to invest billions of dollars in places that are safe and prosperous tell me, as I've often told you, that there's something different about the people of South Carolina. And one of those things is this strong tradition of discipline, honor, and country and duty. Now, it's taken us a long time, Mike Pitts. Representative Mike Pitts started this journey about nine years ago to take our Division of Veterans Affairs and make it a cabinet agency. Well, it's time, and it ought to be done this session. This is one of those things that we don't need to study anymore. We know how important it is. It's important for a lot of reasons. It's important to the Pentagon. It's important to the Department of Defense. It's important that our veterans, through a cabinet agency, have the status, attention, and focus that is important to keep in South Carolina strong. So this is something, again, we're, we're changing a name, changing a focus, changing a context, and promoting the Division of Veteran Affairs
to a full-fledged cabinet agency in South Carolina. Should have been done before. Now is the time to do it. We're going to do a lot of good things in this session, this session, and this is one of them. So I thank all of you for being here and urge you to stay in touch with those that are involved in the legislative process and be sure that they know that this is one of the most important things we can do to recognize our veterans, but also to keep our future strong in South Carolina. Thank you very much. Katrina Sheila. Good morning. I'm Senator Katrina Sheely. I'm the Chairman of Family and Veteran Services uh, Committee in the Senate. And thank you, Governor McMaster. South Carolina has a rich history of supporting the armed forces and our veterans. With the bill that I've introduced, we will alleviate the need of our brave men and women who've answered the call to serve their country. The Department of Veteran Affairs will have an expanded role in serving not just former members of the military, but also those who are currently serving and those who wish to serve in the future. They will work with federal, state, and local partners to connect veterans to programs and services they deserve and are entitled to. It will also codify and strengthen the military-based task force, which helps South Carolina enhance the lives of service members and veterans and protect these valuable investments for our state. I look forward to working with the governor and other members of the General Assembly to pass this important legislation and help strengthen our services to veterans and members of the armed forces. Thank those who started this effort and thank those that are help, uh, are going to help us push it forward in the future. Thank you all for being here. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Representative Bobby Cox. I'm a freshman legislator. I'm a veteran, and I continue to serve in the Army Reserve. And uh, General McCarty's really been twisting my arm to get into the National Guard. So we'll see what happens with that. But I tell you, it, uh, this legislation is near and dear to my heart. Um, it, during my time on active duty, my family and I moved to seven different bases, and I deployed four times to combat. I tell you, my story is not unique. There are thousands of people getting out of the military every single day they're looking to a place to move back to that is veteran friendly I'm from South Carolina so I knew I wanted to move back but I tell you South Carolina has a deep appreciation for veterans worn into its DNA you know like the governor said we have 500,000 uh, veterans in our midst right now in South Carolina recreate warriors here right here in the Palmetto State right down the street at Fort Jackson uh, down the coast at Paris Island, and also at the greatest military college in the world, uh, the Citadel. Sorry, I had to had to do that. So, <laughs> but, um, but I tell you, doing this legislation, passing to make sure that we have a cabinet level position, is an inward, outward sign of our appreciation to all those veterans that are looking at a place to stay and serve, and that's what we need to do. So I tell you, as, as an Army Ranger, we have a saying: "With Rangers, lead the way." Now, if we pass this legislation, it tells all the veterans, both here and all those who are thinking about moving to South Carolina, that we're ready to lead the way in making sure we're taking care of those that have done so much to protect our way of life. So I encourage the Senate and the House to lead the way on this, and let's pass this and make this a cabinet-level position. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Howard Metcalf. I am the director of the South Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs. And for just for a moment, let me speak from the heart. I want to thank Governor McMaster's because from day one, uh, he has been all about taking care of veterans. One of the very first acts that he did as being a governor was talking about getting first responders and veterans uh, retirement pay. That's one of his first acts, and he haven't stopped running since then. So first of all, I just want to say thank you, Governor. Thanks, uh, but I stand here to stand on the shoulders of a lot of people that we have been working for nine years or more to get this done. And it's just the right thing to do for veterans. The ones who have sacrificed their life, those who have died on the battlefield, that we can stand where we are standing right here today to have the freedom that we have. And I also stand on the shoulders of different organizations, more so the governor always talks about first responders. Well, for the veterans, 
our first responders uh, is our co uh, county veterans affairs officers and our veteran service organizations that deals with veterans every day, taking care of our veterans. And on the other side of that, the organizations such as the Veteran Policy Academy, the Military Base Task Force, the Veteran Advisory Council, these are the folks that are behind the scene. And then, last but not least, I need to thank our soldier citizens, all the way from our Miller Honor Warner, uh, General Livingston, to General Bob Livingston, who recently retired, who actually is a South Carolina treasure. And soldier citizens as my good friend, uh, Bill Dukes, who have worked hard to get this done. So I want to thank the Senate, I want to thank the House of Representatives for what they are doing and what they are pushing for. Because once again, it is just the right thing to do for our veterans in this great state of South Carolina. Let's stop saying that we are one of the friendliest states for veterans and let's make it a reality by moving this division to the Department of Veterans Affairs. Thank you for being here and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, I'm Pamela Evett. I'm the Lieutenant Governor of the great state of South Carolina. And I am proud to be here today to stand with these veterans and the veterans all across our great state. I echo the, government, the governor's sentiment. This has been nine years in the making. And I truly believe with the spirit of cooperation and collaboration that we have here in the State House now, that this is something that could be done, that will be done. And I look forward to standing next to the governor when he signs it. So thank you so much. And thank you for all being here today. That concludes this ceremony. Thank you very much for attending.